Hello again, it's Jimmy at O'Reilly's. So, a bit of a same story again. We have a Volvo here, and I had some people say on the last video that uh, I didn't do the test properly and I should have gave the, the car some rev revs up. Now, I did do it on off camera on the last video, but okay, maybe my fault I didn't show that. So, we'll do it again. We'll uh, rev the vehicle up, we'll do a test before and after. We're going to do an hour test running the carbon clean machine here. To see if it actually works. We've already taken the car for a test drive, it's warmed up. Okay so we've got the airbox out, I'm going to try and make this video as short and sweet as possible so I'll address some comments from the last video. You should have removed the injectors, had a look inside the pistons. Now for me, if you're doing, if anyone is looking at getting a carbon clean done, nobody's interested in is their pistons clean. Your pistons are getting burned at high temperatures and your exhaust manifold anyway. Uh, anywhere that that carbon is going to build up on a diesel engine is between the EGR valve to the inlet manifold and these are the only areas that I believe that anyone would be concerned to clean um, no one's interested in did it clean the tips of your your your, your fuel injectors like some people commented uh, your exhaust manifold we're not, I'm not interested in, in looking at is the exhaust manifold clean um, those are, are already hot areas of the engine um, and carbon is not going to sit in the, in them areas when when you're driving your, your car for more than 20 minutes um these are the areas that we want to concentrate on now these machines this is just a, a launch rebranded machine now they said if 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 i could get good results out of these they can they can put these on for sale um so this is a 20 liter tank it's a commercial sort of grade heavy industrial unit so it's not just a little small one the size of a petrol can like some people sell this is a big powerful unit and if this can't clean carbon then i don't believe any other one will okay having a look inside at the egr valve there that is what it looks like okay i don't know if we can get it under there but uh, no, it doesn't matter there's the top end of the egr there so if this carbon machine is going to work. We'd expect to see some sort of difference on that. Now, you wouldn't expect to see it all completely shining brand new, but you'd expect to see some of it gone. So we'll get the camera out and we'll retest that afterwards. Okay, so I've got that pipe all closed back up. Now I'm inside the car. I'm going to start it up. This car's done 205,000 miles. And I will set up the launch uh, scan tool here. This is a launch your tab three. So what I would like to do as well is someone mentioned about reading the cat temperatures before and after the carbon clean or during it. Okay, the machine is powered up, and let's see if we are producing hydrogen. Yeah. So let's get that directly into the engine now. Shove it in there. I will give that an hour. So we'll do it all in the way that people have been asking, you know, giving a periodic revs. And I'll even hold the revs, you know, at a, at a couple of thousand RPM for five or ten minutes. Uh, just to make sure that the EGR valve is opening. Um, and then we'll uh, we'll see what the results are afterwards. Now, I'll be honest, in my straight opinion, I'd prefer not to do this. This is my car. I would prefer not to do this to my car because I'd really think that if this did work if this hydrogen stuff was working in the way people are saying and it it increases the temperature enough to burn off the soot i think if it increased the temperature enough to burn the soot you're going to damage your engine so you know i'd imagine that this is putting some sort of wear on the engine or it's doing more harm than good basically okay we're back in the vehicle we'll give it a few periodic revs up and down like people have been asking
So you can see there, we're about five or ten minutes in. We have 140 degrees, 149 degrees on the particle filter. Now it's idling. We'll let it idle for a minute, see if it's increasing or decreasing. So it looks to me like it's decreasing. So if we hold the revs up, they should increase. some boost revs that's the way you're going to increase the temperature really sharp sharp boosts of rev so I've just added on the particle filter pressure there as well just out of curiosity but uh, it's not related So again, we're just periodically giving it some revs. That's the way you're going to increase the temperature of the revs. So if, if I hold the revs at a steady there, the exhaust temperature is not really going to increase. The only way you get increased temperature is when you spool the turbo up like that. Then you'll see a big increase in uh, temperature. Okay, we'll let it idle again. Right, I've done a few runs here and there. Now we're just we're just going to let it idle for 20 minutes. We've already done a few five-minute intervals of revs up and down. We'll let it sit for 20 minutes now, and then after the 20 minutes of that, I'm going to let it run at about 2,000 RPM, and we'll do another 15 or 20 minutes of that as well. Now I did have someone comment on my last video saying that I didn't do it properly. Um, Basically, I've just made a video showing how not to do carbon cleaning. The procedure I followed in my last video was exactly how every carbon cleaner who advertises and charges people for, for doing a carbon clean. It's exactly that process. In fact, I've probably done a little bit more. Every carbon cleaner I've ever seen charges for a 30-minute procedure, and they say before and afterwards, your in intake manifold, EGR valve, your DPF will be cleaned, uh, and all of that. And I've done that ex exact procedure. But now I'm just going to do it the way everyone said, you know, well, not everyone, a couple of people have said. Um, basically some carbon cleaners came on and commented that, that I should have done it that way. There is no carbon cleaner that I know of that does a full hour procedure and a 30 minute test drive afterwards. That's what someone commented that I should have done. So she's still going away there. Okay, let's go back inside again. And see there now, 15, 20 minutes later, the exhaust temperature is not increasing at all in fact the DPF has increased by one millibar <laughs> right I'm gonna use this pedal depressor from laser that's the number for it there get that onto the pedal down there get the revs up to just over 2000 rpm see like I said there when you hold the revs at a steady rev the exhaust temperature is not increasing it only increases when you uh, spool up the turbo with a sharp rev. We're still not seeing an increase in the temperature. Now pretty much the same as I mentioned last time, at the rear of the car here I can smell strong exhaust smell coming from you know from the rear of the car here. Um, so a strong emissions smell, I can smell that. Let's remove that. 
let it idle for a minute and again we'll give it a few more revs up and down I'm, gonna, I'm trying to make this as, as thorough as possible I'm going through it as best I can I'll try it in all different all different different ways of uh, you know different ways you can do it idle on revs accelerations up and down I'm gonna do all of that okay the DPF has gone up to four millibars we've got 149 after the revs okay that's enough of that we've just disconnected the machine now we've removed the airbox out of the way and we'll now get that pipe back open and have a little look inside so this is still tight before I open it up all I'd like to say is let me pause for a minute I'm not trying to I'm not trying to ruin anyone's business uh, hydrogen carbon cleaners or anything like that um, I'm not trying to upset people I'm just trying to I'm trying to trying to find out for myself I've always wondered is this does this work if it does work I would I would love if it worked I would actually really like if this procedure worked because I've got a really decent machine here um, which would probably be recommended retail price of maybe two and a half grand um, and I would really like if that would work because I've got that machine to keep and I can use it um, I could go out I can I can charge customers for this and I would make a lot of money but um, I mean if this works I could probably at least I know book in five or six cars per day um, because I've got a big network of people that, that come to me and uh, um, mechanics uh, public people guys who have fleets of vans I've, I've got no end of customers who I could sell this to um, if it does work I would actually really like if it worked but if it doesn't work I'm not going to pretend it does that's the only thing I'm trying to say and if if there are you know carbon cleaners out there that are not happy about this results all, I'm, all I could say is look I'm not out to try and ruin anyone's business and if this doesn't work all you've got to do is just change your procedure um, you know if I'm going to improve people's work by showing that this doesn't work and change the procedure I'm going to try some other methods soon um, spray some 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 chemicals through the intake and see what difference that, that's, that makes compared to the normal carbon clean machine here ok we're back inside have a look there it doesn't seem any different to me I'll be honest that's it inside I mean, it's a bit more wet. It's a bit more wet around there. That's it, all finished. So for me, that doesn't work.